Hello friends, today we will be doing Math Kangaroo Level 5 and 6, Year 2023. So we'll be doing uh, in this video question 1 to question 10, which are three point questions. The four point questions will cover in the next video. So let's start reading. Olga fills the rest of the table with the numbers up to 40, following the system as shown. Which of the following pieces shown could he cut from the table? So if you see here, there are uh, eight numbers here and like there are five squares here and it goes up till 40. So it's like a table for eight. So this is 16. Then you have a 24 and you have a 32 and you have a 40. Now, which of the following pieces? So here the difference is just 8888. Eight, eight, eight. So if you see here, which of the following pieces would he cut from the table? So if you see here, everything is uh, starting with a 12. Just one second. So if we see here, all the options that we have, they are starting with a 12. So let's just see where will we find a 12. We have a 12 here. So the next number after 12, you have to just do plus 8 plus 8. So 12 plus 8 is 20. And uh, so this one is 13. So 13 plus uh, 8 is 21. And uh, 21 plus 8 is 29. So this should be the block. Now, if you see here, uh, the number below 12 is 22. So this is not my answer. This is 12 plus 8 is 20, 21. So 21 plus 8 is 29. So this is not my answer. C is my answer because this is how it looks. Again, 21. So the way we saw that 12, the number below 12 will be a 20. So this is not my answer. The below number after 12 will be 20. So E is not my answer. So my answer is option number C. Let's read question number two. Math sticks can be placed to build numbers as shown. For example, to build the number 15, one needs seven math sticks and one needs the same number of math sticks to build the number eight. So if you see number 15, so you have a one wherein you need one and two sticks. And then you have a 3, 4, 5, 6, and a 7. So for building number 15, you need 7 matchsticks. Similarly, we need the same number, like 7 matchsticks for building number 8. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So you need 7 matchsticks for building number 8. Now the question is, what is the largest positive number that can be built with 7 matchsticks? So now this is the option. So we already know, let me just see this. So for building a number one, you need two matchsticks. Okay, and like let's start with the options. For building number three, you need one, two, three, four, five. So you need five matchsticks. We already know you need six here. You need seven here. Okay, so for building 31, you need again seven matchsticks. And they're saying the largest positive number. So since they're talking about the largest positive number, let's just start with option E. Now, if you see E, it starts 8, and then for 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you need 6 matchsticks. So 7 plus 6 plus 6. So you need 20 matchsticks for building 800, but they're saying you need to build it with only 7 matchsticks. So this is not my answer. If you look here, for 7, you need 1, 2, 3. And for, so for seven, you need three. For one, you need two plus two. So you need seven matchsticks. Now, this is the second largest number that I have uh, as far as the options are concerned. So if we follow method of elimination, my answer will be D because the other bigger number, which is 800, is not possible. So my answer is D. Question number three. <clears throat> Which of the following shapes cannot be divided? Whenever we are reading a question, please focus whether the question is talking about can or cannot. In this case, they're saying which of the following shapes cannot be divided into two triangles by a single straight line. So the only thing that is allowed to me is a single straight line. So which of them I cannot get? Like For example, if you go with option A, you can get two triangles, say triangle A and B, if you divide it into two parts. Similarly, you can draw like this, you'll get two triangles. 
Now, in this case, if I draw like this, I'll get two triangles. Again, for E, if I draw like this, I'll get two triangles. Whereas for option D, like if you draw in terms of triangles, so probably you will need more than one line. So my answer is option D. Question number four, Rosal, Rosalinde has a piece of paper marked as shown, which she folds to form a cube. Which of the following five cubes can she get from the paper? Now, the thing that we have to see here is, see if this is a kangaroo or, so if you see the legs are here, in this case also the legs are here. So like when you fold it, like this becomes my bottom piece. And so this will be the side of the cube, this will be the side of the cube, and this will be the side of the cube. So when you fold it, like, so this one will be like this, like straight. And uh, this one will be, uh, like this one will be standing, and this one will be inverted, something like that. So if you see these options, so in this case, the option that will fit in is option B. So my answer is option B. Let's read question number five. Claude climbs from the bottom to the top of the cylindrical tower as shown. The steps are all equal size. So they are all equal sized and nine steps are visible. So they've given us this number. Nine steps are visible. How many of the steps are not visible? So this is the tower. So how many floors do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. So basically, there are 21 floors. And for that, uh, nine steps are visible, or you can say 21 steps are there. So nine are visible. So how many are not visible? 12. So my answer is 12. Let's read question number six. Anna has five circular disks of different sizes. She wants to build a tower of four discs so that each disc in her tower mm -hmm. is smaller than the disc immediately below it. How many different towers can Anna build? So what is it saying? That you have five of these discs and uh, she has to use four of them in such a way that in her tower, this, each disc in her tower is smaller than the disc immediately below it. So that means you have to have the biggest uh, disc below and then the smaller and then smaller and then smaller. So that's what it says. So let's just name, number them. So suppose this one is gray and let's just say this one is yellow. This one is red. This one is orange. And let's just say this one is blue. So what are the possible combinations? So I have a gray first and then I have a yellow, which is smaller than the gray. Then I have the red and then I have the blue. This is one combination. The other one, I can go like this. So instead of yellow, I say that I have a red, then I have a blue, and then I have a orange. Okay. Uh, then what can I do? Uh, can I have a gray, yellow, red, and instead of blue, can I have an orange? And uh, then I have the yellow, I have the red, I have the blue, yellow, red, blue, and orange. And uh, is there any other combination that you? So the fifth combination is gray, yellow, blue, and orange. So there are five combinations which are possible. So my answer is option B. Let's read question seven. It says the picture shows a parcel around which four tapes labeled M and P and Q were placed. In what order from the first to the last were the tapes placed? So you have to find the first one and uh, to the last one. So if we see, uh, uh, if we see, like, you know, if you see N, on N, you can see the M on uh, and the P and the Q. So N is at the bottom. 
So N was the first one. So we'll cancel the A, E, and P. Then after N, you can see the M because, you know, P is coming on M and uh, a Q is also coming on M. So then the next one is M. So this goes away. Then we have to see which one is coming on what. So if you see P is on the top, if you see this is coming here on uh, the Q here. So my answer is N, M, Q, and P, which is option D. Let's read question number eight. Alice has the four puzzle pieces as shown. Which pair can be combined to form this hexagon? So if we see this hexagon, how many points are there? Two, three, four, and five. Similarly, two, three, four, and five. Okay, then you have one, two, three, four, and five. Correct. So here also, if we see this, this is one, two, three, four, and five. Correct. So the hexagon goes like this. So this is two. Three, four, and five. So this will go like this, and this will go like this. So I need a piece which looks like this. So if you see here, it is option one and option uh, one and three will make this piece. So my answer for question eight is one and three. Option B. Then three question number nine. The gray circle with three holes punched in it is placed on the top of this clock face. So these are the three holes that we can see is placed on this clock. The gray circle is then turned around its center with three numbers. Which three numbers is it possible to see at the same time? Mm -hmm. So if we see this here, what is the difference between one and five? So you have a two, a three, a four, and here the difference is, a, is just one number, which is number six. So that is what we have to find. The difference between the numbers has to be 4 and the these two numbers have to be 1. So, uh, let's see. Uh, so, if we see here, if we see 2 and 4, let's just see 2 and 4. Okay, so here there is a difference of 1 and between 4 and 9, it is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So there are five and one. So that's why this is not my answer. Similarly, if we talk about the option B, you have one here and then five here. So one, two, three, four. So that's matching. So then the next number is 10. Whereas it's the same combination here. So I should be getting a seven. So this is not my answer. Then we go to option C. So you have a four and a six. So this one is working that one is missing. And then between 6 and 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So there are 6 numbers, whereas it should be just 4. So this is not my answer. Similarly, if we do about uh, 3 and uh, 6, uh, so if we suppose... We can also, this was, I was, so this is option C. But if you look at option C, we can also, instead of going forward, like if you see 4 and a 6 here, okay, this is 4 and a 6, and then you have a 12. So instead of counting 12 from here, we should be counting 12 from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So my answer will be option C. Let's read question number. 10. So the answer for question number 10 will be option C. Jaunty glued the three pieces of paper into the black circle as shown. Which of the following patterns could he be obtained? So uh, the answer for this is option C. I hope you liked my video. Thank you for watching.